Ah, uh, shit. Everything is falling. My mic sucks ass. Okay, hold up. Fuck. This is what happens when you put on a wig with headphones, knowing damn well you like a fake ass Shiaiki Nanami. And this is what happens when you also put your mouth to the mic like Leafy is here. This is ca I hate this fucking chair. Like, I, I can't sit down properly. Fuck this, man. This is fucking awful. I'm about to end my life. Oh my yes. god. Yes. Stupid black people, welcome to my video. This is your boy Reboot Chiaki Nanami. I'm trying so hard not to put my mouth next to the mic. This is really, really bad. I, I just want to end my life as soon as possible. I can't wait to that very day. That would be nice. You know what? That that would be very, very nice if I could just stir myself with a knife. <laughs> This video completes my life. How are you niggas feeling today? Uh, I'm feeling great, by the way. Plus, I've been surfing across the internet trying to figure out what video I could possibly watch. And uh, I haven't found anything until I scroll across a video like this. It's like saying, oh yeah, you can go cheat and I'll just forgive you. Everything will be okay later. No, no, that's not how it works. I'm not boo-boo the fool. Beyonce is not boo-boo the fool. Okay, I know BuzzFeed has been fucking up lately and that their videos have been very terrible, but this... What the fuck is this video, dude? I just don't get it. I don't get it at all. How about you ask yourself this question, BuzzFeed? Living in a world of hookup culture, people are constantly looking for something better or what's next. Even Jay-Z just dropped an album addressing a- I don't give a single shit about Jay-Z's album. A lot of the rumors we heard on Lemonade, so I'm just gonna walk around the office and ask, could you forgive someone for cheating on you? Why would this bald, a Malteser, stomachy tree descendant fuck go around asking people if you could- <laughs> I just don't fucking understand this video anymore, dude. Didn't we already go through this transition slide? Oh my god, dude. Chill out. Look this fucking that. transition slide is too long, dude. Chill out. Yes, I have treated on <laughs> Who the fuck is that? <laughs> she looks like I love macaroni. <laughs> I got the gas and the coke. I don't sell my leg. No more. <laughs> Bro, we <laughs> this video. Oh, fuck. I can't do this anymore, dude. <laughs> Put her in here, dude. I have not. I don't think they know. <laughs> Basic bitch 101. <laughs> I have not been cheated on, to my knowledge. One time that I'm aware of. One time that you're aware of. Hmm. I've actually been cheated on on two of my serious relationships. Sorry, I'm going to have to roast you, dude. Um, Lil Peep. I'm sorry that you can't find yourself a woman. I mean, I'm pretty much sure there's plenty of fish in the sea. Uh, you can always find dating sites or whatever. Go to McDonald's and find a chick. If you can't do that, then just stab yourself. I've definitely been cheated on, and I've definitely cheated to be petty. Look, you fat pig. Cheating on somebody else when they cheated on you doesn't make anything much better. You're just making yourself look worse. Being petty about cheating on someone... Hmm, you should correct that. No wonder why you don't have anybody else in your life anymore. Best question of the century. I can understand why people would cheat. It doesn't make it right, but sometimes things happen in life. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like emotional cheating is actually a big thing, even if you're, like, thinking of someone in a way. Like, that is, to me, That's true. almost worse. What they're saying right now doesn't make any sense at all whatsoever i feel like if you're a rapper 
or a basketball player is just easier. What does being a rapper or a basketball player have to do with cheating on someone? This guy is mentally retarded. His brain's not functioning. He's losing brain cells as we speak. You can't help your attraction. But with that being said, your attraction should not be open while you're in a relationship. If you feel like you have to cheat, I feel like you should just get out of that relationship. What? What is this chick even talking about? What the fuck, dude? Dude, why would you get in a relationship with that person in the first place? It doesn't make any sense. Just what? How? If you got a breath, then you got a chance. If I'm married, I'm not gonna leave my husband for cheating. This chick is honestly fucking stupid. I don't even see how this even works. If someone cheats on you, you're obviously gonna leave them. Like, you have to have a reason. Like, she's just. You're still gonna stay with him even though he cheated on you, dude. He smashed other women behind your back and you're still gonna stay with him. If it's Great. Like if it's something like that happened once. Okay, I think she has a valid point. Now, if you're getting cheated on constantly, it, it, you have the right to tell him, Hey, we don't have to be together anymore, you fucking retard. But if you're saying like one time, then... Yeah, you can forgive him, but uh, in this case, uh, I say, uh, fucking kill yourself. Does that mean you get back together with them and forgive them enough to keep the relationship going? Or do you forgive them enough where it's like, you're kind of okay with the choices they've made as a person? Okay, Mr. PewDiePie, we got your point across, all right? You're not making any sense. Dude, basically, here's what you're going to say in a nutshell. I don't know whether I should stay with them or whether I should just leave. It's that simple. Jesus Christ, PewDiePie. I feel like you can forgive somebody if you have a family or you have some sort of like history or a past. I think it's tough for people to just leave that behind. What does someone's history have to do with them breaking up with you or cheating? This video makes no sense. These people from BuzzFeed are honestly brain dead. This is, this is fucking stupid, dude. This channel gives us a sign that God's existence is fucking dead. As a single person with no children, like for me, cheating is a deal breaker. Let me get a point straight across to you, fat pig. Nobody wants to be with you. And that's final. Goodbye. I would forgive them because that's just how I am and that's my morals, but um, I would not stay in a relationship with them. Obviously, your life is now devoted to like your kids and your family, but you at the end of the day need yeah. to be happy. Forgiveness is the way to move on and grow, but it's really difficult. <laughs> Question, how is it difficult to move on from this? All you have to do is just say, I forgive you, but bye bye. <laughs>
I'll come out with more videos. I'll try. But other than that, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll move on. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.